everybody, how are you doing and welcome to a new video. Yes, you have seen correctly, today I am working together with Asda who have challenged me to create a cheese board using their award-winning extra special cheese range. Obviously, if you've been watching my videos for a little while, you do know that cheese boards are one of my favorite things about living in the UK, so I'm super excited to create one today. Never done it before, but before we start... <coughs> We need to have some wine. Cheers. Okay, so I'm sure you're seeing all these beautiful ingredients in the background here. So these are all additions that you also put on a cheese board, but there's two things that are most important. The first one is the board. So I think this one is particularly beautiful. And now to the main act, the cheese. Yes, I am very excited about cheese. So let's have a look at the type of cheeses that we have and place them on the board. So the first one that we have is a Manchego. I think I'm saying that correctly. And this one is actually gold standard. So I'm expecting a lot. Ooh, how am I gonna cut this so it looks nice? You're supposed to eat with olives, so I wanna have an olive as well. Mm, it's perfect. Basically takes you to a Spain holiday straight away. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that I got for my cheese board is obviously grapes because that is just very important. So I'm gonna start with some grapes on my cheese board. No, actually, before I do that, I have a little Christmas twig. That is beautiful, gorgeous. Okay, so the next cheese I have is Blue Stilton. This I'm particularly excited about. I'm a huge blue cheese fan. Comment below, do you like blue cheese, yes or no? Oh, wow. Mmm, mmm, it's perfect. Super good. Okay, next one, Butler's Mature Farmhouse Tasty Lancashire. Lancashire? Lancashire. One of those, cheese. Woo! Mmm, so this one's a bit milder. Let's try a little bit. Mmm, yeah. Definitely not as strong as brewed cheese. Still delicious. I imagine this with some salami, which we have. So now we have some vintage Red Fox Red Leicester. Very red indeed. The most unusual out of the cheeses so far. Gorgonzola, mm-hmm. Let's try. Mm. Oh my God. Oh wow. <laughs> I think this is my favorite so far. So it's very creamy. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna put it on the board, but challenge accepted. Ooh, yes, it works, it works, it works, it works. Ooh. So do we think it's time for another decoration element? Yes, we do. Got some French saucisson, saucisson. I think that's how you say it. The next two that I'm gonna do are Brie and Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> In other words, Parmesan. All right, so now that we've got all the cheeses on, I'm just gonna prepare a few more decorations. Here's one thing that I wanted to show you which is this, what I got, and that is pork and egg pie, something that you have on a cheese board as well. Um, so I'm gonna cut this, place it, make it all look beautiful, and then I will show you the final result. Okay, so just before we dive into the cheese board, I just wanted to show you the sauces. So I have cranberry sauce, like I mentioned, very important as this is Christmas themed. And I also have chutney, and this is special Christmas chutney. So I think it's made with apple and things like that. So this is meant to create the whole beautiful Christmas spirit. So let's have a look. Okay, so here we go. Here is my cheese board. We've got all the cheeses, the chutneys, the fruit. I put some olives on there as well. Of course, we've got the meat. This is some pate, which is also very important. And then of course we've got some crackers on the side here and the pie and who is excited? Me! Comment below what you think. So I have had a lot 
amount of cheese. <laughs> Cheers. And thank you for watching, of course. Thank you to Asda for sending me all these delicious cheeses. I do have to say, the Gorgonzola and the Manchego, which is the gold standard one, are definitely my favorite. Do let me know if you've ever made a cheese board, if you feel inspired to maybe check out Asda's award-winning cheeses and make one yourself. Merry Christmas. I think it's definitely time to say that. Thanks for watching. I think I already said that. And I will see you in the next video.